Hey guys, welcome to India Detailed. In this episode, we're gonna talk about time. The classification of time. As we know, the main purpose of classification is simply to make things more convenient. Like this pizza, cutting it into slices makes it easier to eat than stuffing the whole thing in your mouth. More on that in a bit. All data and time periods mentioned in the following video are approximations are not exact. We do not mean any offense to any historians, people, cows or potatoes. Discretion is advised. When studying the past of any region, it is first divided into two parts, history and prehistory. This division is done on the basis of the availability of historic records from that period. Now what counts as a historic record? These records are in the written form as an inscription or copper plates or anything that is readable. They should not be a fixed state. Say now. Religious scriptures alone do not count as reliable records because, although they might give us reliable information about the religious beliefs and social life of the people of that period, they don't give reliable information about their political situations such as their cities, rulers, kingdom, events, and so on. These paintings too tell us about the daily life of those people but nothing detailed about any particular event. For instance, we don't know what these ladies here are up to exactly. So for an account to count as a reliable record, we should be able to cross-reference it with these contextual evidences. So the period of which records are available is called history, and of which not available is prehistory. In India, the prehistoric period lasts up to the 6th century BC and then we have records available after that. Seems easy, right? Nope. This is where it gets complicated as we introduce a third period between them, proto-history. And this guy belongs to that period. What makes proto-history complicated? The thing is that, we do have records from that period, but we can't understand them. Do you know this place? In case you don't, this guy does. It is the site of Mohenjo-daro from the Great Indus Valley Civilization. These seals have been acquired from the various Indus Valley Civilization sites. They have different inscriptions on them, but these inscriptions cannot be understood because they are in the Indus script, which we haven't deciphered yet. So these records are pretty useless to us right now. So let's do a quick review of the past, prehistory, no records, protohistory, mysterious records, history, finally something dependable. These periods are further classified in order to study them more efficiently. The prehistoric period is divided based on the development of the tools of that period, the Paleolithic age when man used tools, second the Mesolithic age when man used microliths. So man was a hunting, gathering nomad, then he learned farming and settled down. This brought on the Neolithic age. Next. The protohistoric period is classified into three parts based on the metals are used. First, the Chalcolithic or the Copper Age. Then the Bronze Age when we built some pretty cool cities like these. And the Iron Age which began in the protohistoric period but it overlaps with the historic period. Finally, the historic period which is classified on the basis of the rulers of that period. First, the Ancient Period. This was the period of Buddha, Ashoka the Great, the Kushans and the Guptas. Second, medieval period which in 1191 when foreign ruler Mohammed Ghori defeated Indian king Prithviraj Chauhan. Third, modern period of the British Raj in India after they defeated the Marathas in 1818 and established control over the Indian subcontinent. So this was all about the classification of India's past. If you liked the video, well like the video. Also don't forget to share and subscribe. And remember, history is always in the making.